Now, plenty still ahead tonight. We'll be hearing about new plans that could affect the job of saving lives. I'll be finding out why Wales's ice cream vans are going through a bit of a cooling off period. Now, have a listen to this. Doesn't it remind you of the sound of summer? Well, there can't be many of us who haven't bought a lolly from an ice cream van, but the service is in danger of meltdown, according to people in the trade. Well, time for a mint choc chip now with Matthew Richards. He's in Denby with us tonight with the scoop. Matthew. Thank you very much, Claire. Can I have a ripple single? Please? Great, thanks. Now, the chimes of any ice cream van will bring back many happy childhood memories for many of us, but if these warnings from the ICA are to be believed, it'll become a rarer and rarer sound. At their peak, they had 20,000 members. There are now just 700. Lovely. Award-winning Derek Walker has been whipping up treats across Denbyshire for 11 years. He still does a roaring trade when the weather's good, but he's noticed a drop-off over the past few years. So he's planning to ship the van overseas in the winter to give Thailand its first frozen meals on wheels. He's competing with the big supermarkets, but doesn't think the ice cream van is an outdated idea. It's like um, fish and chips from a chip shop. People will say, you know, you can't be having them from a chippy. Same as ice cream from an ice cream van. And um, you can't get the whippy ice cream anywhere else apart from a van or somewhere that's got the machinery. There are plenty of regular customers who agree with him. It's written all over their faces. I mean, I approve of the healthy eating scheme, but I think you can take these things too far. I mean, goodness me, it's a bit silly, isn't it? It's handy because they come up to the avenues and all by the houses. It's handy. And they're also cheaper. With concern about children's health, some parts of the UK have shut van vendors out in the cold, stopping them from parking up by schools. Wales is, at least for now, a bit more chilled out. Well, you know, that's not too bad for an early attempt. Uh, Derek's been showing me how to put together the Perfect 99, and there's a flake to top it off, thanks very much. Well, uh, let's find out if it's ice cream weather now with uh, the other Derek. Oh, thanks, Matt. Unfortunately, it looks like the ice cream's disappeared. Must have melted, I guess, on its way down from North Wales. Anyway, it's great to be here on Gower this evening. A bit chilly, though.